This morning, Kim Jong-un boasted of a successful weekend launch of this missile, ballistic missile. And <clears throat> as he was doing that, I couldn't help but think we couldn't possibly have a more worse time to begin conflict with this man. And it, it's so frustrating because I understand Trump and other U.S. officials cannot dictate this guy's course of actions or this other country's course of actions. But think to yourself, today is May 15th. Trump hasn't been in office for even four months yet. And we're already talking about a war. And it's going to be over something that we started. We chose to get involved in Syria. We're choosing to get involved in this. And we don't need to. Because the fact of the matter is when these service members start going out there and the body bags start piling up, how many of those politicians do you think are going to care? And that's the crux of my frustration. You'll have these conservatives who will say, oh, North Korea has to be stopped. North Korea is this and that. But you have to understand something. I, I would rather they stay the way they are than have service members and American soldiers or just that category in different names as I applied to them right now be killed in a conflict that we did not need to get involved with. You know, and that's really the frustrating part whenever I think of the past election, because I know Hillary would probably be doing the exact same thing. There is no concern for the average American life within the executive branch. There really isn't. And I don't think there's one for a lot of members, um, uh, in Congress. And it's not because those people are evil or they're bad or, you know, they're villainous. They, they do this and they choose to go about making these claims of our strength because they know they're not going to have to go to war. They know their children aren't going to have to go to war. And that's why they have no problem sending you or I or anyone else that is not related to them to their demise over things that didn't need to happen that they pushed themselves into. You know, we don't need this conflict. We don't need to have some confrontation with the leadership of North Korea, just that country in general. But the way in which we've chosen to address it for the last, uh, what's well, a little bit over 100 days of this administration, it's terrible. Again, May 15th, not even four months into this presidency and we're looking at a new conflict and what some people are calling the beginning of World War III and I'm far from a person who just decided to criticize Trump because of most things that he's uh, done since getting in office but you know I, I think I take the military very seriously the fact that during these conflicts we usually always have casualties very seriously even the people that don't die come back in body bags. It's not something I play around with. And to see them so openly talk about, we'll do this, we'll do that. It's not going to be you doing it. It's going to be you ordering it. But, you know, the actual fighting and, you know, giving your life and being blown up, that will be by someone who is in no higher position of power than myself. And it's frustrating to admit that because it really shows you the level of almost invincibility that a number of these um, politicians have. You know, you look at um, these congressmen who get elected over and over again, and then if you go in their district and ask anybody, what has this person done? They all look confused and, you know, dazed and bewildered because there's nothing being done uh, on any front. They're, you know, the Democrats aren't really opposing this all that much, barring a few, of course, but you know, uh, this is why I endorsed Swearingen yesterday. This is why I want to get rid of uh, Mansion over there in West Virginia. Because supporting stuff like this really is intolerable. And I don't think any office holder needs to make the claim that they're part of 
just this initiative. It's bad. It's awful. And I, and it's bad because we're going to send our, our people out there and not, not, not only not have their back because we truly cared about them. We would be trying as much as we could to avoid this. But also, when, what, what does it matter to us? You know, why does it matter to me? That's probably the best question to take away from this. Why, why do I care so much? Well, you know, I'm an average person just like anybody else. And you don't want to, ha to happen to someone else, which you don't want to happen to yourself. The golden rule.